Hey Virgo, welcome into the gift of time with my lovelies. Hope you're doing alright. I want to jump into this reading. If you're new to the channel, a very warm welcome. My name's Leela, I reside in London, UK. And if you'd like to in the comment section below, let me know a little bit about yourself. Always intrigued to know my viewers are from. So, this is a love reading. I'm just going to intuitively talk about what comes to mind, okay? We have the Two of Swords. The Hierophant and the Six of Pentacles. Hierophant energy is Taurus energy. I think um, somebody got blocked here energetically, physically. I think a lot of Virgos had a difficult choice to make. Okay. Well, what I like here with the Hierophant energy, Virgo, is lessons. Realizing something here. Listening to your own inner guide. You know, a lot of you are very spiritual, quite mysterious. So, yeah, two of swords, like, I feel like a lot of you energetically pulled away from somebody here. Or you had a difficult choice that you needed to make. I feel like there was opposing opinions here. A lot of you are thinking, what's the best route of action? What shall I do now? And I feel like... um you know, with regards to your person as well, I feel like they are in denial. Perhaps they were a stalemate. There's fear of commitment here. Yeah. Somebody was in fear of commitment. Maybe not emotionally available. I feel like a lot of Virgos realise something here. You know, like, um, I'm going to pull away because I give. But it's got to a point where there's no balance with the Six of Pentacles there. You know, I'm not getting what I give. You look, was coming into a realisation here. You was telling yourself, oh, actually, what am I getting out of this? So a lot of you pulled away. And it may be that your person realised that. So in turn, they're mirroring your energy. Remember, intuition is a powerful tool. It's a very powerful thing that we are gifted with, okay? But, yeah, someone was quite stubborn here as well. Like, you're very traditional. You are spiritual. You're a spiritual leader or guide. You, you know, new paradigms here, new ways of thinking. I think a lot of Virgos realise something here. And there's a lesson there's a lesson that a lot of people are learning here you are in search for the truth like when it comes to us Virgos we don't want bitter lies no we'd rather we'd rather the truth the bitter truth rather than sweet lies right <laughs> maybe you've been stuck but now I feel like you're realizing something here 100% and you're trying to keep a positive mindset it's very important for you to have that two-way abundance of giving and receiving because you're so charitable you're so kind like you will buy people gifts you will give them your last you're such a positive generous type of person and you're and you're always willing to help always willing to help the next a person in need wow now what i see here we have the Knight of Pentacles. We also have the Death card. Don't be alarmed, okay? And the Page of Wands. Virgo, listen, I'm proud of you. I am proud of you, Virgo. So yeah, Scorpio, Taurus energy. You could have been dealing with someone in that caliber. The month of May, April... Um, October, November may have some sort of significance when it comes to this connection, okay? And I feel like a lot of you are just like, do you know what? I'm just going to concentrate. I'm going to get back into my Virgo energy where everything I touch turns to gold. I got the mighty touch. Like just leaving this trail of prosperity, like everywhere you go, you know, <laughs> There's so much light here. There's so much determination. You know what you're good at. And, and the majority of Virgos here are very good at concentrating on their work ethic and working their butt off 
because you want results you know what you're good at and the majority of you are very good at being diligent at working hard at building your material security expanding like seed by seed planting your future and then we have this rebirth with the with the death card here cycles of transformation change new beliefs this can symbolize an ending a symbolic death newfound awareness and starting the process um, an initiation process this is about you allowing yourself to let go of the past in order to add energy to new beginnings so a lot of you are on the cusp of a massive transformation right now and yeah we might have to mourn and heal and and go through the emotions yeah that's that's very important we are only human what a beautiful rebirth here allowing you to expand your consciousness to move closer to your divine essence this is a cycle in your life a relationship a belief a career path or any outdated plans it's coming to an inevitable end this is about taking a deep breath it may be scary but once you get out on the other side this change is needed this is about welcoming the possibility of something new, allowing this phase to come to a graceful end and to look towards the magic of your newfound horizon. It indicates exciting times ahead, filled with brightness, filled with so much potent potential, like new light awaits you, Virgo. And it's clarified here because we have the Page of Wands, okay? And this page of wands talks about inspiration, talks about a creative beginning. It talks about infectious enthusiasm. So if you're feeling quite shitty right now, I promise you it won't last. This new energy is coming in. You've got loads of ideas. You've got loads of plans for your future. Like I see brainstorming here. I see this youthful spark. I see this dreaming energy. This is about being spontaneous. This is about igniting your flame. It's about being the free spirit that you've always been, okay? So pay attention to new ideas that are coming to the surface. This inspiration. Make sure you're putting your plans into perspective. This is the space that you need. This is about allowing your wings to fully form. It's potent, but it's positive potency. Spend extra time in imagination. If you're feeling any lack of ambition or drive, just know that this fire that you should ignite will allow you to dream, to live the life that you've always wanted to live. Wow. You can't make this up. So we have the sun card here. Building your confidence, joy, inspiration. Feeling like yourself again, Virgo, you know? The Sun card is a very beautiful card. This is about abundance, fulfillment. This is about manifesting your dreams. This is about love. Okay, wow. Thank you, spirit. I mean, what? No, 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 no. Now I'm excited. <laughs> this is crazy. You are more than enough. When you're happy, you're really happy. Virgo, you breathe life into everything that you touch. You radiate. This is about joy, celebration. Be ready to take action based on your radical positivity, your radical generosity. This is about living it up. You are perfect. You are whole. You are loved by the cosmos. This is the yes card. Wow, I'm actually stunned. Because then we have the star card. Your expectations being fulfilled. Your wishes being granted. This is opportunities. This is you healing after all the trauma 
all the traumatic events. This is you knowing you're on the right path. This is you feeling inspired. This is renewed hope, Virgo. Expect miracles because they are on route. And then to even amplify that, we have the Wheel of Fortune, changes, fate, destiny, you getting your lucky break, like all the chaos, all the karmic lessons, you're now at a turning point in your life and you're transforming, you're expanding, get ready because the wheel is about to give you divine blessings, synchronicities, The wheel is always spinning. Learn to enjoy this regeneration. You have the chance to cycle upwards towards your own expansion and enlightenment. We cannot control this change. Grab your lucky dice and see the wheel for what it really is. All the beauty in your life, all the experiences waiting to spring forth and be lived. Virgo, this is this is crazy. Like I haven't had such a great reading <laughs> in ages. Look at this on the bottom of the deck. You're talented. You're manifesting your dreams. Some of you are really talented, artistic, creative. It's time for deep rest, self-love, taking a break, taking a vacation from it all. You're self-made. You didn't get where you were today. <laughs> wow, look at this. This is crazy. Like, you guys are going to have your happy ending, no doubt. You had to walk away from something here. You had to evaluate and see something or someone for who they were and what they were. A hundred percent. You're so pure. There's so much opportunities for abundance here. You really are realizing something here. You paid attention to your intuition. Some of you are saving. You're bringing stability in your life. You're you're regrowing. Like, look at this. You were once upon a time. And that's, that's the energy I'm saying. You were once upon a time sad. And now you're bringing your independence back. You're staying busy. You're cooperating with others. Look at this. There's so much success for you, Virgo. There's so much to celebrate. Honestly, I am quite blown away. Yep. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Please remember to smash the thumbs button if you find it resonates with you in any way. Don't sweat it. The people that did you wrong didn't understand you, underestimated you. The universe spirit is on your side. As always, be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you. And I'll catch you on the rebound.